good morning students today let's start our chapter gravitation and proceed towards the significance of gravitation so students motion of the planet around the earth only gravitational force is responsible for that means existence of solar system motion of moon around the earth same gravitational force is responsible earth is holding the atmosphere towards its surface earth is holding we people firmly on its surface for rainfall snowfall and flow of water in the rivers gravitational force is important and one more important point is there that the occurrence of tides earth is moving moon is moving around it when it the moon comes uh, downwards that means it is near to the surface of the water of the ocean it will at apply more force of attraction and high tide will come and as the moon moves slowly just above distance increases from the water to the moon low tide will come so these are the significance of gravitational force based on this students i am showing you numerical so see here question is the mass of the earth is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg so mass of the earth and the moon is 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg if the distance between the earth and the moon be 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 km calculate the force exerted by the earth on the moon so see students here let us take m1 as mass of the earth so it is 6 into 24 10 to the power 24 kg mass of the moon 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg distance is given 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 km so change it in meter so we have got 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power 3 because we know 1 km is equal to 1000 meter so what answer you will get 3.84 into 10 to the power 8 meter this distance is given so let us calculate the gravitational force you know the value of g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square formula we have done f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square so put the value g value 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 mass of the earth is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg mass of the moon is 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg distance given 3.84 into 10 to the power 8 whole square for solving this one easy method i am saying you that bring move all the 10 at right side 10 to the power at right side so see here 6.67 into 6 into 7.4 into now 10 to the power minus 11 plus 24 plus 22 divided by this is 3.84 3.84 into 3.84. Here you are getting 10 to the power 8 to the 16. So this 10 to the power will go above with 10. So we can write this one as 6.67 into 6 into 7.4 into 10 to the power minus 11. This is 46 plus 46, and this will go above. That is minus 16 by 3.84 into 3.84. Now you see here, after decimal two digit means by hundred, and this is also two digit means by hundred. So this point is cancelled. Again, 7.4 after digit one de ten that means by ten, and after point it is two digit that means above in numerator it will be. Hundred. So one digit, one digit cancelled. We can write this one as six sixty seven into six into seventy four into ten to the power of minus nineteen. Sorry, plus nineteen by this is 
384 into 384 and this is 110 is remaining so it is 10 and when you will solve this one you will get the answer 2.01 into 10 to the power 20 newton so force is 2.01 into 10 to the power 20 newton with same i am showing you one more numerical calculate the gravitational force of attraction between stone weighing 1 kg and earth weighing 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg then what will be the acceleration produced in the stone and next question acceleration produced in the earth so first we have to calculate the gravitational force and then acceleration here radius of the earth because stone is on the surface of the earth so radius of the earth is 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter g value you are knowing Mass of the earth is given 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg. We know force of attraction F is equal to G M1 M2 by R square. So G value I have written 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. Mass of the earth is 6 into 10 to the power 24. And mass of the stone that is mass of the stone is 1 kg. So it is 1. Distance is 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 whole square so let us see what we are getting for this i have put the value of g first 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 and mass of earth is 6 into 10 to the power 24 again i have moved all the 10 to the right side and when you will get denominator that is whole square 6.4 into 6.4 and just it will be 10 to the power 12. So this 12 I have moved to minus 12. So what you will get it? Here we will get when you will solve all this 667. How we are getting 667? Just see. After point 0.2 digit means by 100. And this one also after point 0.1 digit after point 0.1 one digit. So above uh, numerator 100. So denominator numerator 100 will cancel. So we get 667 into 6 by 64 into 64. And when you will solve this you will get 10. So it will get we will get 9.8 Newton. So force of attraction we have got 9.8 Newton. Let us calculate the acceleration. Acceleration produced in stone, acceleration we know the formula F by M, F is 9.8, mass of the stone is 1 kg, so we are getting 9.8 meter per second square. Similarly, acceleration produced in the earth, 9.8 mass of the earth is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg so see students here we are getting the answer 1.63 into 10 to the power minus 24 meter per second square so here you will see minus 24 think how much small it is so what result you will get result is the acceleration produced in the earth is extremely small 10 to the power minus 24 1 into 10 to the power minus 24 think how it is small it will be therefore we cannot feel the motion of the earth okay